Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. NVIDIA announced that it would implement a technical downgrade on the H20 chip specially supplied for the Chinese market, with the video memory capacity cut from 96GB to 48GB, and the memory bandwidth reduced from 4.0TB per second to 2.0TB per second. This wave of operations directly led to a crisis of $18 billion in domestic orders, and companies such as ByteDance and Tencent held emergency meetings overnight. Huawei's Ascend 910C chip suddenly received millions of additional orders from more than 50 companies, and Boidu and iFlytech shifted all the budgets originally planned to purchase NVIDIA to domestic chips. Why did this drama, which seemed to be a precision strike by the United States, become a turning point for the counterattack of Chinese chips? Let's first look at the reality of this technical encirclement. NVIDIA's H20 chip was originally a compliant version customized for the Chinese market and its video memory bandwidth and capacity once made domestic chips far behind. After the latest downgrade, the training cycle of the 100 billion parameter model will be extended by more than 40%, and the inference efficiency will drop sharply. The technical director of a leading cloud vendor revealed that in order to maintain the current computing power level, the company needs to purchase an additional 30% of server equipment, and the project cost will surge by hundreds of millions of yuan. When the video memory capacity is less than 32 gigabytes, the technology iteration of domestic large model companies will directly stagnate. The emergence of Huawei Ascend 910C has completely broken this dilemma. This chip with a dual-core superposition design doubles the computing power by packaging two Ascend 910 BS, and the video memory bandwidth reaches 3.2 terabytes per second, directly targeting NVIDIA's flagship product H100. Actual test data shows that in the intelligent driving scenario, Ascend 910C increases the emergency braking response speed of the M9 by 23%. In the field of medical imaging, the accuracy of lung cancer recognition increases by 11 percentage points. SMIC's 7 nanometers process production line has increased the yield rate of Ascend 910C from 20% to 38% and the monthly production capacity has exceeded 80,000 pieces. The collaborative breakthroughs in the industrial chain are also exciting. Yangtze Memories HBM3 technology is about to be mass-produced, and Chongxin Storage's 192-layer 3D NAN chip has completed verification. These key technological breakthroughs have made domestic chips no longer constrained by memory bottlenecks. Huawei Cloud's latest Cloud Matrix 384 cluster system, through the combination of 384 Ascend 910CS, has an overall computing power of 1.7 times that of NVIDIA GB200, and HBM capacity is 3.6 times higher. This system has been put into commercial use in a certain intelligent computing center in Beijing. The computing power of a single cluster has exceeded 300 petaflops, and 20 large models with hundreds of billions of parameters can be trained simultaneously. The battle to reconstruct the ecosystem is accelerating. The number of Boidu Pedal Pedal developers has exceeded 3 million, and Huawei MindSpore Open Source Community Dynamic Graph Compilation Technology is close to the level of TensorFlow. 
The education system has changed synchronously. Tsinghua University has included Ascend chips in the artificial intelligence experimental platform. Students can now debug large models directly on domestic hardware. Alibaba Cloud Launch Day, the Aoyuan Plan, investing 5 billion yuan in three years to cultivate 100 domestic chip ecosystem partners. The first batch of 12 companies have completed the technical adaptation of a SEN 910C. The deep contradictions of international games are exposed at this moment. The sudden ban of the United States on H20 chips has exposed that its technology blockade strategy has shifted from computing power restrictions to video memory bandwidth encirclement. NVIDIA's revenue in the Chinese market accounts for as much as 13%. This wave of operations has forced it to accrue $5.5 billion in impairment losses. Huawei's Ascend 910C orders have skyrocketed, thanks to the U.S. ban on H100 chips in 2022. Companies that were forced to turn to domestic chips at the time have now formed a complete alternative ecosystem. The current market reaction can be described as magical realism. A black market for NVIDIA A100 chips appeared in Shenzhen Huiqiangbai, and the unit price sought to US dollars and was still being snapped up. Data from a cross-border e-commerce platform showed that the price of second-hand H20 chips rose 47% in a week. More companies choose to completely turn. ByteDance announced that it would suspend the upgrade of TikTok's recommendation algorithm and fully adapt to Ascend 910C. Tencent's Hanyuan Large Model team has migrated 30% of the code to Huawei's ecosystem. When we look back at the technological watershed in May 2025, we will find a truth that subverts cognition. The explosive growth of China's AI chips began precisely when the United States imposed the most severe sanctions. From a Sen 910B to 910C, from 28 nanometers to 7 nanometers process, from CUDA ecological monopoly to the rise of MindSpore open source community, each breakthrough is engraved with the false mark of technical blockade. At this moment, Huawei's production lines are running 24 hours a day, and engineers from SMIC are working on the 5 nanometers process. This war without the smoke of gunpowder is rewriting the power map of the global semiconductor industry.